Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about differentiation of trigonometric functions, and we're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So, if I was given this function, y equals cosecant of 5x to the fifth power. Okay. Well, first things first, I don't really worry about the inside. I think, okay, what's the derivative of cosecant? Well, if we're taking the derivative of just cosecant, dy dx is equal to a negative cosecant of, well, whatever we're taking that a cosecant of x. We're going to leave a space there for it, times cotangent of whatever is at the inside of that parenthesis. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down what's inside the parentheses to both of those blank spaces. 5x to the fifth and 5x to the fifth. Then we need to multiply that by the derivative of inside. Derivative of inside, well, using power rule, 5 times 5 is 25. x to the exponent comes down by what? Fourth power. From there, we can simplify by bringing the 25x to the fourth out front. So we have negative 25x to the fourth times the cosecant, cosecant, there we go, of 5x to the fifth times the cotangent of 5x to the fifth. And there we have it. We have our so let's recap. We're given y equals cosecant of 5x to the fifth power. We think about, okay, what's the derivative of cosecant? That is uh, derivative of cosecant. It's negative cosecant times cotangent. So we leave a space there because we're going to fill in what's inside of that parenthesis. Then applying the chain rule, we take the derivative of the, what was on the inside of that parenthesis, and the derivative of 5x to the fifth is 25x to the fourth. At this point, we've taken the derivative, but we're going to rearrange it, make it look a little nicer, the 25x to the fourth front, and there we have our final answer of negative 25x to the fourth times cosecant of 5x to the fifth times cotangent of 5x to the fifth.